Let's talk about the essential skills you need to land your first cybersecurity job. We'll look at the main areas you should study, which certificates can help, and how long each step might take. If you can put in three to five hours of study or practice each day, you can be ready for an entry-level role in about seven to 10 months. Let's jump right in. First, I want to give a quick shout out to our newest members, Edgars, Christian, Lovegiven, Shailesh, Joe. Thank you so much for joining this channel and supporting me. You're awesome. By the way, if you're new here, welcome. This channel is all about helping you build a strong foundation in coding and land your dream tech job. I create practical, no fluff tutorials, roadmaps, and career advice to help you succeed. If that sounds good, hit subscribe and check out the other videos on this channel. The first step is building a strong foundation in IT. This is a step that unfortunately a lot of people skip, but it's absolutely important, especially if you're new to tech or transitioning from another job. If someone asks you to fix their computer or troubleshoot their Wi-Fi and you have no clue, this is your starting point. Otherwise, you can skip to the next step. Now, a great place to start is CompTIA A+. It's a well-known certification that covers foundational IT knowledge like installing operating systems, handling common PC issues, managing essential software and so on. I'll put the link down below if you're interested. If you spend three to five hours of studying every day, this step should take you about a month or two. By the way, I'm not affiliated with CompTIA or any other companies I'm going to mention in this video. I'm recommending them simply because they are well known and give you a solid foundation in cybersecurity. Now, assuming that you have a solid foundation in IT, the next step is computer networking. If you really want to protect or attack systems, you have to understand how data moves around. So spend about a month or two learning OSI and TCP IP models, common protocols like HTTP, HTTPS, TCP, and so on, IP addressing and subnetting, as well as basics of routers, switches, and firewalls. If you want a structured way to learn and prove your networking skills, CompTIA Network Plus is a great entry-level certification. It covers general networking principles without focusing on one brand of devices. Another option is CCNA, which goes deeper into Cisco's own networking equipment. It's the gold standard for networking. Having it on your resume definitely helps you stand out, but it's more difficult than Network Plus. By the way, remember that certificates are only part of the story. Employers want to see real hands-on skills, not just a piece of paper. So don't assume that simply getting all these certificates is going to guarantee a job immediately. Make sure to build those essential skills and use certificates to give your resume an extra boost. Now let's talk about operating systems, particularly Windows and Linux. If you're just starting out, pick one to focus on, let's say Windows, if that's what you already use daily, and get comfortable with file permissions, logs, and basic user management. But in the long term, you really should learn both because Linux is extremely common in servers, cloud environments, and security tooling. Spend one to two months here. Now, if you want a formal path for Linux, you can go for CompTIA Linux Plus. But honestly, you can skip getting this certification because it's not going to help you as much as other certifications like Network Plus or CCNA. If you want to get it, do it for the knowledge. Next up is coding. Now, you don't need to be an expert, but having some knowledge of coding is going to help you a lot throughout your entire IT journey. The best language for you to learn is Python because it's very beginner friendly and is super common in cybersecurity. I have a couple of Python tutorials on this channel. One is only one hour long. The other is more comprehensive. They're super easy to follow and millions of people have already watched them to learn Python. Again, links are down below. I would also recommend to learn Bash for Linux or PowerShell for Windows because these languages are also super common for automating tasks like file management, user creation, or system checks. They're very simple, and once you learn a programming language like Python, learning a second language will be far easier. Now you're ready to learn cybersecurity fundamentals. You have a couple of certificate options here. CompTIA Security Plus is very popular and is often a required checkbox for many roles, especially government jobs. Another option is Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate. It's newer, so some hiring managers may be less familiar with it, but it's a solid path if you prefer a guided online approach. Now, with all the foundations you have built so far, next you can learn defensive security, which is about defending against attacks. In cybersecurity, it's often called blue teaming. You should learn how to detect threats, analyze logs, and keep networks secure. You have a few certificate options here. The first one is Cisco CyberOps Associate. It's a well-respected certificate. The other option is PSAA by TCM Security. It's a smaller brand than Cisco, but it's very hands-on. The other option is BTL1 by Security Team Blue. It's laser-focused on real-world defensive tasks. The next step is offensive security, which is about testing systems for weaknesses. In cybersecurity, it's often called red teaming. 
Spend about a month or two, practice scanning networks, exploit vulnerabilities, and simulate real-world hacks. You can practice with platforms like TryHackMe or HackTheBox. They provide safe labs for you to build real-world hacking skills. Now, for certifications, you have a few options. We have EJPT. It's a hands-on, entry-level Red Team certification. The other option is PJPT from TCM Security. It's another beginner-level penetration testing certificate. Another popular option is CompTIA Pentest Plus. So that's pretty much it. If you follow this roadmap and put in three to five hours every day, you can be ready for an entry-level security job in about seven to 10 months. Of course, everyone learns at their own pace, so don't stress if you need a bit more time. Now, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to answer you right here or in my future videos. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe for more useful content.